Hey guys, it is Kristen, otherwise known as Kitty Plays, and we have another video for you. So a lot of you guys have been asking me in my DMs, in my emails, in my comments, what my recommendations are for a setup for you guys when you first start streaming. And granted, this might even be a little bit advanced for when you first start streaming. I always recommend to start with what you've got, but this is my version of a great first streaming setup. Um, we are working with Best Buy, so everything has been ordered off Best Buy, but curated by me. And it contains everything that you will need to start your very first stream. And I personalized it a little bit, and I'm gonna go through each piece and why I picked it, and uh, why I think you should look into it too. found Twitch when I was watching a game called Heroes of New Earth, which now I believe the developers don't update anymore, but I would watch a show called Honcast, which was their competitive show that they would show every weekend, um, and I loved watching that. It was one of my favorite games at the time, and I felt like it helped me improve too, but I had no idea there were streamers on the website that were successful because of their personalities, and just found them to be really fun and personable, and finally recognize that maybe that was something that I could do too. And I'm sure if you're watching this right now, you're like, oh, I know that person in my mind that I watched uh, that made me want to try streaming. And originally it was just because I wanted to find more people to play with. I had a laptop that I was using for school and I tried to stream on that, but back in the day we didn't have things like Streamlabs, which just allowed us to click start streaming and go. There was like four or five different programs that you had to run alongside the game to be able to stream on Twitch. So my first streams were like five frames per second, but some people still came even just to hear my clear voice coming through the stream, which you guys know who you are. I know you're still part of my channel and I really, really appreciate you supporting me from the beginning, but it definitely sucked a little bit to stop my you know, perceived success as a streamer because of the hardware hard issues I was having. So as I went, um, I started to earn money even with my five frame per second stream. Um, I ended up borrowing my brother's PC, which gave me a lot nicer of gaming experience. And I started to buy products. And actually one of the things that I picked for you guys today, uh, the Logitech C920. Now, this is a brand new one here, but on my stream set up right next to us, that one I've actually had for the last six years at the end of December. It was the first product that I bought because I was originally using the webcam that was on my laptop, but as we all know, those things back then were not very good. So having this is so awesome. And really, if you use proper lighting, it allows for you to be able to actually produce a very, very high quality stream, even if those lights were construction lights, which they were for me when I was streaming at my parents' house. So the room would get really hot, but I just pointed them at the white wall behind the computer and it diffused the light perfectly so you guys no excuses for producing a good stream you gotta work with what you got so one of the things that I share with my community the most is don't buy all the most expensive products that you see streamers using right away. You don't really know if you're gonna love it until you've tried it. So I'm gonna go into detail about this stuff behind me uh, later, but these are all products that I think are just great for starting out and especially the peripherals, they're really uh, easy to swap out as you grow. So that's what I did as a streamer. You know, I started with the webcam and then I got a better mouse and keyboard and then I upgraded my microphone because audio and sound is so important in a stream. Um, and then I did a PC uh, build as well. So just making sure that as you grow and as you change, there's different phases of things that you'll need to buy um, and upgrade in your stream to you know increase the experience for your viewers. But this right behind me is gonna give you a great experience and uh, I think your viewers will be really happy with this. So as my content grew, I mean, it changed a lot. When I first started streaming, I was just playing Heroes of New Earth, a little bit of World of Warcraft, some Hearthstone. It was very much um, interactive with my community, but I would also play with my friends a lot. So they were in my lobby, which 
I recognized was kind of decreasing my interactiveness with my community. So I ended up playing a lot of solo instead and interacting with you guys more. Um, got really into Counter-Strike. As soon as my community found out that I loved games like Halo and Call of Duty growing up, they introduced me to Counter-Strike Go, which I could play on the PC, and I fell in love with it. So we did lots of fun things, lots of subscriber games. I had lots of parties. We would do big, huge case openings. So if you guys are fans of Counter-Strike, you know what that is. Um, and I just really, really loved playing the game. Um, but as kind of Counter-Strike started not to be as popular, uh, a lot of streamers got kind of frustrated because we were so consumed with the one game and we weren't variety streamers. So the, the website is a whole, people kind of call it the, the gaming drought. There is about a year there after Counter-Strike was popular where no games were being released. No new games that were fun to stream anyways. So that got really frustrating for me. Uh, so I actually ended up taking a year off and focusing on other things. That's when you guys saw me doing like daily vlogging, things like that. Thankfully I had a setup that could support that. I had the camera, um, like the G7X was one of the cameras that I used, which I actually did buy at Best Buy, uh, my first one. And that allowed me to get into more lifestyle stuff. So you guys got to know my personality more as Kristen instead of Kitty Plays because I wasn't this online Twitch personality. I was bringing you into my life. I was showing you my day to day, meeting my family. Um, so that was a really fun and expansive time in my life. And when I came back to streaming, I was so focused on making sure that my community really understood that I had such a drive for positivity and for love. And um, that was just kind of how my stream evolved and came back with Fortnite. Um, which was last February, which was so fun. And it was the first time in my life that I felt fully supported by the game developers, by my fellow streamers, by the pro players, um, and by the community itself. I didn't feel like people were trying to get me off of Twitch, which the Counter-Strike community definitely tried to do multiple times, but it felt so good to be supported by the community and I got to try out being a professional player and getting invited to these tournaments and I got to try out being a caster and then a host and doing interviews, which I would always see people do and be so excited about, but never thought that I was capable of doing it until I tried it. Yes, I was uncomfortable, yes it was hard, but we did it and it was so, so much fun. And it's just really allowed me to do a bunch of different things in the industry and now you guys see me working on the business side as well. So all of these different things that I've kind of gotten to experience in the gaming industry has been amazing. questions I get in my stream all about the products that I use but also the tips I have for new streamers. I think the popularity of streaming across the world now has really kind of lit that fire in a lot of people's hearts um, to try and become a broadcaster. So I have a few tips that I want to share with you that hopefully will make you the most successful because it really is a dream to be able to do what you love and to make a living off of it. So if I can help people um, build communities, find friends, and potentially get paid for that, um, I love to do it. So here are some of my tips when you first start streaming. Number one, and this is an important one. When I first started streaming, I wanted to absorb all of the information I possibly could about streaming. I read all the blogs, watched all the videos, watched as many streamers as I possibly could, just to learn what people were doing and what was out there. Um, it's really important to start asking yourself the question, would that work for me? Would that not work for me? And there really comes a time where you need to stop watching other people and stop taking in information and start asking yourself what your content's gonna look like and how you can stand out as your own personal brand. Because if you're just out there copying people, you're not gonna be able to find the same level of success as they have. And granted, you might be happy with a percentage of their success, but I think websites like Twitch and YouTube and whatever program that you're on, it's really important for you to recognize that you do have value and you do have something special that this website needs and this platform needs so get quiet and ask yourself what makes you special like what are some cool quirky interests you have like how are you different from everyone else that you've been watching and to start focusing on that and 
spending time uh, on that and you're gonna find a community that really loves you and is attracted to your content just because you're being yourself and you're having a lot of fun doing it. So that leads me into my next tip. A lot of people come in and they wanna be the next best Fortnite streamer, the next best WoW streamer, the next best Counter-Strike streamer, these top games. Um, but if you're a brand new streamer and you don't have a community yet, chances of people scrolling all the way down to find you amidst thousands of other streamers is low. So my advice has always been to find those games that you still really love and are passionate for. Maybe it's a game you played when you were younger or maybe you know it's a new indie game that you're excited about. Play new games and build that initial community that loves you for you. Um, somewhere where people can find you and then as you grow you can transition into other games and have a little bit more visibility with that initial community. So my next tip, and this is for like the very, very beginner streamers, although I think it's important even for a lot of popular streamers I see today, you can kind of get lazy and get quiet when you're playing. And I understand like a lot of games are really immersive and they're gonna pull you in and you're just gonna wanna be quiet and play them, but it's really important to get good at narrating yourself. Whether you're narrating the game that you're playing, the moves that you're making and talking about that from a skill base or an enjoyment of the game base, or just talking about your life. What's new? What's happened? Like, what are you excited about right now? And asking your community questions and getting interactive with your community and getting really good at talking all the time. I have a lot of people come into my chat, they're like, Kristen, you don't stop talking. And I'm like, I don't stop talking because that's my business, okay? As a streamer, it's really important to always have something going on, always have something to be talked about. You want the community to come into your channel and being like, hey, what are they talking about? What are they doing? This is fun. I want to be a part of it. I want to know what's up. So very important to start getting good at talking all the time. And trust me, this has translated into my real life and I do talk too much and I'm very aware of it and I'm trying to work on it. So last two things, only start streaming if you love streaming and you're doing it for fun. The online live streaming community is one of the most attentive, intelligent communities I've ever met in my life and they will see right through you, okay? You cannot con people on this platform, trust me. It is very important that you love what you're doing and you enjoy what you're doing because that is gonna end up being, if you become successful at it, what you do for a really long time. And if you're only here for money and you're not enjoying what you're doing, um, it's not gonna be a very good place for you. One of the unique things that happened in my community was I let Kitty Plays be who I felt like I was inside and was all the qualities that I was trying to express in this world that didn't, and I didn't know how to yet. And what was interesting is the more I was that person on the internet, the more I became who I felt like I really was in real life. So there's another opportunity there if you can relate to that at all. So after all that, if you still want to stream, here is my, let's call it level one full streaming setup. It rounded out to about $1,600, $1,700 on Best Buy. I got free shipping and it all arrives in a few days. I think a couple days actually, because it was over the weekend, which was amazing. And you don't need the best of the best to start out. But the most important thing is that you're not handicapping yourself when you're playing the game. Your content comes through clear and with as minimal hardware issues as possible because you're gonna go through your own things you have to deal with as streaming and I'm sure people who've watched my, watching this right now who are streamers, you get it. Um, you don't wanna have to be dealing with technical issues. So guys, now we are going to go through why I picked everything and kind of discuss uh, the changes that you can make for yours or maybe there's something here that you want to buy to start streaming with. So. First things first, we already talked about it, that Logitech webcam. This thing is so great and the only important thing when you're using these, this is the C920, you don't need their brand new ones, you don't need their expensive ones. Like this is cheap for a webcam and it produces incredible quality. Just make sure you have good lighting and it's gonna look great. So next I got the blue 
air snowball ice usb it's a cardioid condenser microphone it plugs right in to the usb and the reason why i chose this is because it's a really great price and it produces great audio it's perfect for starting out and then once you want to upgrade and get things like the mic boom um, and an xlr mic you can go and do that but for your first stream setup, this is so great. I know a lot of friends that use this for their voiceovers for their YouTube videos and things like that. It's gonna produce really crisp sound to start your stream at a really high quality, but you don't need to spend a ton of money. All right, the next thing I got was the Logitech G332 headset. This is it right here. I chose the red because I knew that the mouse and keyboard that came with our desktop was black and red, and I'm all about matching setups, if you guys don't know that about me. Um, and this is a great headset. I've had a lot of Logitech headsets in the past. I've had the wired one, I've had the wireless one. This is a wired one, it's great, it has great audio. Um, you're gonna be able to hear all the footsteps you need to in game and your friends are gonna come through crystal clear, but it doesn't break the bank, it's very cheap. And when you have the standalone mic with the headset, you don't really worry about the headset mic quality. I really haven't found any headsets that have had good microphone quality yet. If you guys can tell me about one, that would be great, but most streamers now have standalone mics, so this, this is a great headset for great audio. Your music's gonna sound awesome and uh, it does not break the bank, so definitely something that you can get. And both of these things too, you're not spending too much money on it. So when you upgrade it and hopefully, you know, give it to a younger brother or sister or friend when you guys are done using it, that's not gonna be too expensive either to make that upgrade. All right, so the next thing I got was this MSI monitor. It is a curved gaming monitor. It's 144 hertz and has the one millisecond response time. <laughs> So I know that there are 240 hertz monitors now, but for your first monitor, 144 hertz is really going to up your gameplay. Uh, I wouldn't suggest starting out on a 60 hertz monitor. Um, I personally use a 60 hertz monitor for my second screen for all of my programs I run alongside of my stream. And then I have a 144 hertz 23 inch monitor for myself. And honestly, for the price of this and having it curved, it is awesome. Uh, it's very great quality for gaming and for the cost it's a really good first monitor and uh, I think this one will last you a long time and the nice thing about gaming monitors is as you upgrade your monitors your up, your monitors you had before just becomes your second third fourth fifth sixth as some streamers do it now which is just totally ludicrous to me I don't run that many programs but it really allows for you to start expanding out um, but this is a great one that will keep up with your gameplay and finally we've got this PC now this is the I buy power snow blind I already have this case for my own personal build this is the I buy power desktop. It has an Intel Core i7-9700F, 16 gigabytes of memory, NVIDIA RTX 2060, and a one terabyte hard drive with 240 gigabytes uh, solid straight drive. State drive. And it comes in black and white. And the really cool thing about this, I actually have this case in the older version, is this is a monitor. So you could pop up anything with high contrast and have it displayed here. Um, I personally like watching black and white anime videos on my second monitor. It, it's just really cool. I just really love that they added this into it so you can really personalize your desktop even more. Um, and that's the Snowblind case because I get asked about this on my stories all the time. So impress your friends and game and in person with your cool setup. Um, so one of the most important things about a gaming setup is the amount of memory you have when you're starting to stream, uh, as well as the graphics card. So having that NVIDIA RTX 2060, you know, you're not breaking the bank. My personal PC has three tight Nexus, which is a little bit unnecessary, just a little. Um, and I have 32 gigabytes RAM, but 16 is enough. And you also have those two extra slots on this motherboard where you can add more RAM if you need it. So. I just think this is a great setup. And the nice thing about this is iBuyPower also included a keyboard and mouse with this desktop. So 
Definitely a introductory peripheral setup when it comes to mouse and keyboard, but once you want to start upgrading your setup into things like the pro scene and have you know the mechanical uh, keyboards or the membrane keyboards or a lighter mouse, that'd be good. But this mouse does allow you to control the DPI and this keyboard is really clean and it also has ergonomic features. So for having this come with the desktop and I believe I also got a copy of the Call of Duty Modern Warfare with this as well, which is awesome uh, for people that might want to start out streaming that. I'm really, really happy with this setup. All this is available on Best Buy and I'll include links down below in the description. And maybe there's just one thing on here that you want to add to your setup. One of those things might be having that Logitech C920. I use mine now as a second camera alongside my DSLR and it works beautifully. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It is probably one of the most requested things is advice for streaming tips, wanting to know about my story, and Kristen, what is a good first streaming setup? So there's a ton of different items on Best Buy that you really can customize it the way you want, but this is the setup that I came up with and uh, I hope you guys have a lot of fun on that. If you do end up getting anything, please send me your setups. I love, like one of my favorite things, like guilty pleasures is like creeping other people's setups because I think that's a place where like a lot of people express their creativity and it's really fun to see, you know, what people value more. Um, so send me a photo of your setup on Instagram, Kitty Plays, or Twitter, Katie, Katie Plays. And if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, click that subscribe button, turn on those notifications because we all know how the algorithm can be these days. And uh, I look forward to making more gaming content for you. And if you enjoy this type of video, let me know down below in the comments what other types of videos you'd like me to make. Do you want me to do a souped up upgraded setup tour? Do you want me to do a home tour? You want to see more of my life? Do you want to see more of my gaming setups? What do you guys want to know? Or maybe you want more stream tips. Let me know in the comments down below. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much Best Buy for sponsoring this video and I look forward to making more content for you guys. Bye!